Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about the new Super Saiyan 3 Physical Go Tanks banner and event that is currently going on in game. Now, if you haven't already seen it, I did summons last. I didn't, I didn't really think I was going to stay up for summons, but I ended up doing it. Uh, I ended up doing some other things because Bleach Brave Souls also had a new banner drop and I usually don't go for the killer banners, the killer advantage banners, but they literally had all the units I did not have except for like one, but I still wanted dupes with him for the special attack increase. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't like a double raids banner or anything like that, so I kind of got, you know, I didn't get really good pulls, I wasted a lot of orbs. But, you know, it's, it's kind of like, uh, essentially, via Dokkan battle, imagine doing seven multi-summons and only getting two SSRs. Granted, there were some good SSRs that you didn't have, but there were SSRs nonetheless. Uh, regardless of that, I did get some good pulls, I was very happy about it, unfortunately, I was a little bit upset about the orbs, Christmas banners coming up there, but this isn't a Bleach Brave Souls video, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the Super Saiyan 3 Physical Go Tanks banner right now. Um, that banner is looking pretty good. It actually has a lot of good units on it. Um, as you see over here, Dokkan Festival is on. It runs until the 27th, so if you guys want to wait till after Christmas to see what happens on Christmas Day for pulls and everything like that, you can do that. We also have Dragonstones on sale until the 20th. We're going to talk about that as well. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to touch upon, I'm not going to go over the event. The Dragon Ball GT event is available. I know it was available last night. I didn't talk about it, but uh, the GT uh, Heroes Legacy Goku Jr. It runs until the, the 31st of December. So you have the rest of the year to grind this event out. I already have mine, Super Saiyan, all four Dupans unlocked, maxed out. I'm working on my base form one, though. I don't think I'm ever going to really use him. I'm still going to try and max him out. Maybe not this time, but we'll see what happens with grinding. Anyway, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Physical Go Tanks banner. Uh, this is here, new SSR Super Saiyan 3 Physical Go Tanks arrives. Uh, notable units on this, obviously the Super Saiyan 3 Physical Go Tanks, the Super Saiyan 3 Technique Go Tanks. Now, if you guys already have yours maxed out, remember, if you pull the physical one, the Technique one can feed into him. So that's a benefit to you right there. So don't get upset if you pull some dupes of the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. The Technique one, anyway. Um, then we also have the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, the one card that eluded me. I would really like to get him. And the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. These are all the Dokkan Fest exclusives that are here. Uh, and then we have some other units that are here that are really, really good. We have two of the Super Saiyan Go Tanks, the, the Super Saiyan 1 Go Tanks. Is, um, one is the physical one, one is the strength one. Uh, then we also have the two base forms. One is the strength and one is the agility. And then we have the Goten and Trunks that both Dokkan Wagon into Super, well, it did, Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Is. Um, now, all these cards are actually really good. I did want to state, I know I've said this in a lot of videos, the two Goten and the, Goten and the Trunks cards, right? They Dokkan Awaken into Gotenks. Now, you have to Z-Awaken them for 100% chance, but what you do is you Z-Awaken them, you Dokkan Awaken them, then Z-Awaken them again, and you can feed them into the Super Saiyan Gotenks. Now, I recommend doing this 100%, especially the physical Super Saiyan Gotenks. I don't know which one of these two it is, but definitely increase that their super attack by 10. He's going to be a primary unit for a mono-physical team, uh, so if you do pull the physical Super Saiyan Gotenks, just make sure you save these SRs so that way you can Dokkan Awaken them. Uh, and feed them into that Gotenks. Now, the Strength one is also really good as well. Don't get me wrong, he does the same amount of damage output, I believe. Uh, at least I know that their passive is the same when it comes to attack plus 100%. The only thing is, the Strength one only gives you 100% when you are in the first unit in the turn to, take a, uh, to do a super attack. It's not horrible, don't get me wrong, it's definitely not horrible, but it's a little bit not ideal when it comes to trying to defend and use you know, tactics to go up against the enemy if you want that 100% output. But either way, he still does at least 77%. So overall, the units on this banner are really good, and from what the rates show on Dokkan DBZ Dokkan stats, they're really good as well. Also, by the way, shout out to DBZ.space as you see up in the URL bar and DBZ Dokkan or yeah, DBZ Dokkan stats.com, uh, both sites I'll be using for this video. Now, these guys get Dokkan Awakens, the Dokkan Awakenings with the, the physical Super Saiyan Go Tanks medals, Super Saiyan Three Go Tanks medals. Um, the base form ones are farmable. I told you guys that in the last one. I didn't farm myself. But you can go from the Yosun Goku and his friends return event, they drop base form Gotenks. Get these guys up to Super Attack 10 before you Dokkan Wake them. There's no reason not to. They're not <clears throat> they're not the best units in game in my opinion. But they're not horrible, and if they're one of the very few fusion units you have, um, I would definitely recommend getting them up to Super Attack 10 before you Dokkan Wake them. Especially the agility one, because he does Dokkan Wake and do Super Saiyan, and he has some good link skills, even though I don't like his passive, but attack plus 15% up is not horrible. If he gets like five or six um, you know, key balls, he's going to be doing attack plus like 75% uh, or more. So, <clears throat> definitely not that horrible, especially if you have an orb changer on your team. I start, I'm sorry, I keep on coughing in your in your ears. <laughs> uh, I just woke up, so. Anyway, this is not a bad banner at all. Um, 
I'm just going to say right now, the rates say 10.4. I've talked to a lot of people. It doesn't see, It seems like everyone's getting the Gogeta rates on this banner, where like the rates show that they're high, but there's only a few people getting really lucky. So if you're one of those few lucky people, good for you. I'm very happy on you. Don't mean to sound salty or anything like that. I did get some... I got some banner units. I did get some banner units. Just not the ones I wanted. <laughs> so it's okay. But with the rates, 0.7% of getting a chance of getting the ones that you wanted, can't really do anything about it. So me personally, I'm just going to wait for the Christmas banner and the Christmas stuff to see what's going to go on. And if there's, you know, if there's nothing that appeals to me on Christmas, maybe I'll do some more summons on this. But as of right now, the last video I did the last night, or a couple hours ago technically, uh, was probably going to be the last one I do on this banner until at least after the 25th. All right. So we also do have some dragon stones on sale if you are interested in that kind of thing. Um, event details, you can buy three dragon stones for the price of one dragon stone. Um, it's not horrible. Uh, you could definitely do it. I usually do it only when it's like a, a dollar for five dragon stones because that's the best deal you can do and do that daily. Uh, the one for three, I'm not a big fan of because it's. I kind of feel like they should have just kept that at one for five. Well, a dollar for five of them, that would have been cool. Uh, you also have 32 dragon stones for a 50% discount one time and 91 dragon stones over 20% discount for three times. So that's not horrible. You can do that until the 20th of December. So if you want to, you know, if you're looking to have some stones for either this event or for the Christmas event, now would probably be the time. I don't know if they're going to do another discount stone for Christmas. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, so that's that so far. Uh, let's see. We also have the new stage as uh, you know, t typical. We do have the new stage for Unparalleled Paragon of Hope. Now this stage, remember, guys, he does. You do do more damage to him if you have an SR or higher Piccolo and or Boo, the super version, Boo Super. Um, now, I'll do a team building guide at some point, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know yet when, I, when I'm actually going to do this. Uh, but unfortunately, um, because like the, the last event was the Technico tank, so you were able to bring the Intelligence LR Piccolo. Now, you can do that for this event, but remember that the uh, Fizz Tanks is physical and he does more damage against that Piccolo. So there's only like two Piccolos that I know that are SSRs in the game that are both Intelligence. And well, the one physical one as well, but it's up to you if you want to actually bring that one. Uh, then you have Boo, Super, and I, you know, again, off the top of my head, I think it's only the physical units that I'm, that I'm thinking of. Uh, I mean, correct, oh, there's also a Technique one. So I don't think there's any strength for strength varieties of Boo, Super. So regardless, you can definitely do that, but I will do a team building and I'll show you all the cards that you can use on that. Not that hard. Uh, it's going to be a fun event. Well, maybe not. The, it's not that hard if you have a 120 liter or some decent units. <laughs> uh, but overall, it's going to be a fun event. I'll definitely be doing some gameplay. Maybe I'll do some live streaming uh, this weekend with it. Uh, but yeah, again, really good event. I definitely recommend getting this guy up to Super Attack 10 before you Doken Awaken him with those SR Code 10 and Trunks. They are very common pulls on this banner. Um, and you can do it with this guy too. I would recommend doing it before you Doken Awaken him as well. As you can see here, these are their Doken Awakenings. Um, one thing I just want to note, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, he is the 120 Super Technique lead, uh, so he is your 120 leader, this is why people are hyped about him if you don't know. Uh, I really enjoy this card, I really would like to have him, I used him. With, I used a friend of him before, um, he hits very hard, he's really good for a revival category, I would like to have him because I just have a very OP Technique team, because you know what happened with the LR Goku event, with all those Technique orbs that we got, I have so many burn into my box, I was waiting for him. <laughs> uh, I was unable to get him on his banner, but I didn't try too hard because I had every other unit. Um, I didn't need any dupes of any of those guys, so I may try again for the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I'm just not, like, going too gung-ho on it. We'll see what happens. But he's a very good unit, very, very good unit. If you pull him, be, hy be hyped for yourself because of that. Um, go ahead, check out his stats. Go over to dbz.space, and you can check out his stats and all of his information. He does attack plus 100% innately, and then attack plus 15% for rainbow key orb uh, obtained. So maximum, that's 5 max you can actually get, so 5 times 15 or is that 50, 25, 75%, so 175% max he can do. On average, you'll probably get one or two of them, though, so maybe 130%. Still, he's a very, very good unit. Um, uh, the next one is going to be the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, as you guys probably already know. He's a really good unit as well. Uh, well, actually, the one that I did say, I, I, that was his Undokan form, by the way, so I apologize about that. Some of you probably started yelling already. Um, so he actually goes up to attack plus 120, then 20% per key rainbow orb of team. So that's 5 times 20 is 100, so that's 220% max he has potential. Typically, you're probably going to do 140 to 160, though, if you get Rainbow Orb. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, very good unit. If you have him, uh, I definitely recommend feeding dupe system. Well, actually, all the 120s, obviously, dupe system. He's a very hard hitter. Uh, he does immense damage and raises his defense by 30% for 6 turns, which makes him tank very, very well in the future. Uh, just because he does have a higher defensive stat anyway. And like, this is mine, I have my max warp system, so defense of 9,000 and he increases by um, 30%. Plus his 120% uh, buff, yeah, he's insane. 
He also does attack plus 150%, and he has a chance to counter, so he's a very good unit as well. Uh, you want him the Super Saiyan 3 Strength Goku. Uh, that one, the one that Doken awakens to Saiyan, like, Grade 8 Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You, you want those two running together. I've talked about it a lot in my videos, so for you, those of you who are new, at least you know. And then the physical Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Very good unit. The physical 120 lead uh, for super units. Immense damage. He can greatly increase his attack. This is his super. He does a 9 key, 11 key, and 12 key. So his 12 key, actually, it's just here. Um, his 12 key does immense damage to the enemy and raises attack for one turn. Um, so on the JP side, I thought that he just did Supreme. It looks like he might have gotten a buff. Did he get a buff, actually? That's interesting. If he got a buff, that's awesome. Again, JP side, it says he does Supreme from what I remember. Um, 11 is always better. 11 keys always one because he massively raises his attack for one turn. And it looks like he just raises, he just goes up a little bit. This one, he goes up a lot. Uh, then the 9 key, immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers the defense of the enemy. So, honestly, any of these are really good. Chances are, depending on the team you're running, you're always going to get the 12 key off. So, he, if he got an immense damage modifier over his... Uh, JP counterpart who gets supreme, then at least we know he got a buff. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'm probably gonna now title the video "Did the Physical Go Tanks Get a Buff Because of That?" <laughs> but uh, it's definitely gonna be a full review. Uh, he also does let's see, 120% plus an additional attack plus 60% and defense minus 30% for seven turns for the start of the turn. So innately, he's getting 180% for the first seven turns, and you can usually take event down from there. Um, Overall, if you just give him max dupe system or uh, max stats like Super Tech 10 level 120, his defense is 5200. So <clears throat> if you like, let's say you get him up, he has 90, 9800 for defense. His defense is innately higher than normal units. I don't know why the Go Tanks has always have been. So I'm really good. I really enjoy those units. I really would like to pull them. Um, again, that's about it for those units. I don't think there's anything else that I need to talk about here. Um, I already went over the actual Doken Awakenings that you can possibly get over here, so... Yeah, alright, cool. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys had any luck down in the comments below. I plan on possibly doing this again after the 25th. I have another 15 days, so I probably am not going to do anything now. I may pick up some of those uh, on-sale packs, but again, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.